Good morning, everyone, my friends. I want to leave a word that uh, as I was walking and meditating on God's word and praying, I feel is a word in season. We cannot stop to continue to spread the word, the word in season. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 28, it says like this. Those, the prophets who have a dream, speak the dream. Those, the prophets, the people of God, who have my word, faithfully speak that word. We are called to speak the word of God in time and out of time. If they listen or if they fail to listen, we, can, we need to continue to spread the word in a time of fear. We are here to defeat the demon of fear. And the word of God is so clear about this. And I have been very, I'm, I'm shocked in a way. I'm, I'm not saying this because I'm better or more anointing than anyone else. Please don't, 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 don't see this. Is is I, I cannot, but speak. I cannot but speak like is is written all in Jeremiah chapter twenty verse nine, where the prophet was was saying, I cannot be. I need to speak. I need to speak. If I if I say I will be silenced, I will die. I will die. I cannot. And you know today. We see, and I'm speaking more to the church, to the people of God, and to, to, to the leadership of the church. What I see is shocking me. We are completely tied up by the spirit of fear. Even today, even now, I know, for example, in Portugal, the churches are allowed now to open. But people, they must be with a mask. I cannot believe this. And how can the people of God accept to go to church to worship the most powerful God, the almighty God? And we serve God with a mask put by the devil, by the spirit of fear, worshiping the almighty God. It's like the devil is laughing at us. The Bible says in, in uh, Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, it says, Those who know their God will stand will carry great exploits. Those who do not know their God, those who only believe in God, they will follow the convenience. They will go by, they will live by convenience, not by convictions. And uh, what I, I, if I could in, in these seconds, lead a, uh, leave a word for the leadership of the church. Dear pastors, leaders, I say this not because I'm better than anyone, no. But I believe that it's, it's just a channel. Stand up for the truth. Like I said in Jeremiah 23, 28, it says, Those who have my word, speak my word faithfully. Speak my word faithfully. Don't be afraid to lose your reputation, to lose your place, to lose your salary. Church is not supposed, the leaders, the pastors are not in a church, are not called because of a salary. We are supposed to open the word of God and speak the word of God faithfully. When we are filled with the Holy Ghost, the power of God is completely different from what we see in the church today. You are just following the rules of the system of the world. Look to the chapter 2, 3 and 4 of Acts of the Apostles, one of my favorites, when the church starts filled with the Holy Ghost. Every time they go, they, they are troublemakers. Things cannot be the same. They cannot but speak. Fill it with the power of God. I just come to my mind about chapter 4 of, of, of uh, Acts. In chapter 3, you know that what happened about that great miracle that the disciples, before before they were filled with the power of God, the day of Pentecost, they were afraid. They were afraid. They were locked down because afraid of the Jews. They knew God. They believed in Jesus. But they didn't have the power of God. The church today is, is empty of the power of God. They just believe, I don't know exactly in what they believe. If they believe in a powerful God, why they bow down to the spirit of, the, of darkness, the, the spirit of fear? And the chapter 3, you see the, the Peter and John, they were led by the Holy Spirit and a great miracle happened. And you know the story. When they said in, Jesus, in, the, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, stand up and walk. And the, 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 the city was completely in, in, in revolution because of that miracle. And in chapter 4, because the, the leaders of the church came, of this, the, the synagogue came, and they were afraid. Now they were afraid to lose their reputation, their power. But the Bible says they could not deny that a miracle was done, and we cannot deny it. So what they did, they did what the devil is doing today to the church, putting a mask, putting completely the church uh, tied up, 
shut up. And our, our, our calling is to speak, not to be silenced. In Acts chapter 18, verse 9, God appeared, Jesus appeared to Paul. He was a bit passing through, going through a great tribulation. And he had a dream or a vision. And God appeared to him and said, Paul, fear not. Speak out. Do not be silent. Do not be silent. Church, do not be silent. In chapter 4, like I was saying, the, the, the leaders, it's like the governments today. They tell you, you do not do this. You do not worship God. Because you will be arrested. You don't do that. And we are obeying. And we are obeying. Completely different if the church, the church Jesus is looking full of boldness the bible is very clear in acts when we are filled with the holy ghost we are filled with boldness we preach the gospel with boldness we prefer to be arrested we prefer to lose everything we have but we don't bow down to the devil and chapter 4 again i say again the chapter 4 when they are called to be interrogated by the the leaders and they told them you don't dare to speak again in that name you put your mask shut up or you do not know what will happen to you what Peter and John said to them my friends can you please go to the Bible and look and meditate leaders of the church pastors stand up defend the truth don't be afraid to lose members of the church don't be afraid of the finances or the, the offerings or whatsoever it's not time for that I'm talking about the Bible. I'm not saying I'm better than anyone. I'm not saying that. I just, I'm just saying what is in my heart and I believe we must live by, by convictions. And when they said, you shut up, I believe John, the Bible says, full of the Holy Spirit, they told them, you, you, you think by yourself, if we prefer to obey you, or obey God. We cannot stop but speak about the things we saw, we heard, and we experience, my friends. Let's do this, my friend. Let's be this church. Like I said in another video in Portuguese, I said, the, the caliber of the, the Christians, Jesus is looking for the last days, for the glorious church, is in Revelation chapter 12, verse, verse 11. They defeated them by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony, by not be shut up, by not be silenced, don't be silenced, don't succumb to the spirit of fear or you'll be left behind, like the full virgins. What is the difference between the full virgins and the wise, wise virgins? Just one. They go to the same place, they were together with the same people, with the, the right people, they externally they do exactly everything that was supposed they are worshiping God but they didn't have the power the presence of God because they have other idols they are afraid to lose what they have they are afraid to lose the reputation they are afraid what the people will think they are thinking about their car their fat bank account about everything of this but they go to church but they don't have the power. They are not able to leave everything behind. Like it is written in Luke chapter 14, verse 33. Those who are not giving up of everything they have, they cannot be my disciples. They cannot be my disciples. And in Revelations, I will finish with this. Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, it says like this. But those who will overcome, those who will defeat the devil, the demons, the world, are those they will defeat by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony, and because they did not love their life to, to be afraid of dying. They, they don't have a fear of dying. Let me tell another thing. If you, being a Christian, you do things because you are afraid to die, I uh, charge you, I, 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 I dare you to check your true Christianity or discipleship following of Christ. God bless you and have a great day and let's be this glorious church. It is written in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 27. God is expecting us to be a glorious church that won't be afraid. Do not 
be afraid. God bless.